In an earlier video, we showed that when C is a product of A and B, then the null space of C includes the null space of B. In this video, we're going to show the exact same thing with pure matrix algebra. And when you can obtain a result simply by manipulating symbols algebraically, that's a tribute to the technique. So this short video is a small tribute to matrix algebra. So how are we going to do it? Let's see. Let's multiply the matrix C by the matrix representing the null space of B. This product is C with the matrix representing the null space of B. Now, as we discussed before, if this product is zero, the zero matrix, it will show that every element of the null space of B is also in the null space of C. Now, how are we going to show that? Well, we'll substitute the fact that C is the product of A and B. So C times NB equals AB times NB. Let's write it down. All right, so now we're finding that B multiplies the matrix that represents its null space. And once again, as we've discussed previously, this product right here is the zero matrix by definition of the matrix representing the null space of the matrix B. Therefore, the entire product equals A times the zero matrix, and of course, A times zero is zero. And so we have arrived at the conclusion that the product of the matrix C with the matrix representing the null space of B is zero. And that brings us to the exact same conclusion as before, that the null space of C includes the null space of B, except this time we did it with pure and perfect matrix algebra.